tell you is disturbing and heartbreaking. This morning, a congressman in Michigan is demanding an investigation into the U.S. Department of Agriculture. He says his office combed through a whole bunch of documents proving that for decades the group has been killing hundreds of kittens for a research project having to do with parasites. He says they've been breeding these kittens, feeding them parasite-infected raw meat for weeks at a time, and then these kittens are killed and discarded. And it's all funded by taxpayers. Congressman Mike Bishop joins me now from Capitol Hill to tell us more. Hi, Congressman. Um, so Hi, how are you? This, this is being done, you say, by the USDA. It, trying to, I, you know, they try to protect Americans, right, by doing these kinds of experiments. What are they trying to protect Americans from? Well, they're, they're trying to protect Americans, in particular, uh, folks that are, uh, have immune deficiencies or are pregnant women are, are mostly uh, susceptible to this, uh, this, um, uh, this toxoplasmosis. Yes, parasite. Uh, but, you know, they've been doing this for three decades, as you said, since the Reagan administration. You would think at some point in time they would conclude this program. This is the USDA, by the way, the very organization uh, that uh, we charge to, to enforce animal welfare laws. And they're still conducting this uh, and we we just happened to come across this information based on a, on uh, our efforts in our office to, uh, to to FOIA this information working with a watchdog group uh, to address the issue so so tell us so they, they they feed these kittens tainted meat right meat that contains a parasite and then what happens next to these kittens well they they breed these kittens in-house to feed them this raw meat laced with this uh, toxoplasma and uh, then they they follow it through and, and they collect its waste and study it and after they do that they they euthanize the cat uh, quote unquote and uh, then they incinerate the, in, incinerate them and, and uh, for no good reason at all because we uh, we now know that the veterinarians tell us that 90 percent of these cats if they just uh, had one dose of uh, one one dose of uh, antibiotics would be uh, okay to adopt and there's no reason for them to kill them so the cats recover from the experiments and they're healthy enough to then adopt that's, that's right. what you're saying it's shocking really i uh and we never would have known this had it not been for this watchdog group that we worked with to uncover this information how many cats are we talking about well it's disputed uh the uh, the the usda which by the way responded to the media but not to me directly in my letter uh, suggest that the number that uh, we we got originally which was a hundred uh, per year is less than that, but um, we're going to challenge them on that and find out uh, whether or not uh, they're they're uh, they're telling us the truth. And, and you'll continue to fight this, and, and no uh, response from the, the United States Department of Agriculture as of yet. You bet you, I uh, I will stay on this and uh, fight to the very end to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And and uh, if this thing is, you know, they want to renew this program, and we're going to make sure that we do everything we can. And if I have to introduce legislation to uh, remove this taxpayer funding, I will do that. Congressman Mike Bishop from Michigan, thank you very much. The thank USDA you. did respond to this, and um, it says uh, that it makes every effort to minimize the number of cats used to produce eggs required to research one of the most widespread parasites in the world. The cats are essential to the success of this critical research. That is a statement from the Department of Agriculture, but you heard uh, Congressman Bishop, he's going to continue to fight this.